Gary, thank you. New at six, four schools in the Hickman Mills School District could soon close as part of a one plan from district leaders. Schools listed are Hobbs, Truman, Johnson, and Symington. All of them are elementary schools. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial joins us now. And Stephen, you talked to parents who would possibly be affected by this move. These plans can impact more than 1,500 families. And today I talked to some parents about the options before school district leaders. Do you want to know what cutting $5.5 million looks like? I can show you. Close this school, this one, this one, and this one. They're in first and second grade. I don't want to put them in another school. Take Lisa Williams' two students and add another 1,400 and close all of their schools. That's an option a consultant gave Hickman Mills School District leaders to fix a $5.5 million deficit. Are they gonna bus kids to the city? Or are we gonna have to take them? That's gonna be a real big inconvenience for people. That's kind of deep though, you know. It's gonna hurt the kids a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I think they can uh, think of another strategy though. Robert Nelson's daughters. They go right across the street here. One of the schools on the chopping block to close. But how did the district get in this position? Declining enrollment played a factor but a big factor, an error by the county when it comes to tax revenue estimates. I mean, it is crucial for the teachers. If schools are consolidated, that also affects 115 teachers. As Williams and her grandchildren drive away from their school today, she hopes they can drive back to it next year. Now, the Hickman Mill School District multiple meetings in reference to this problem of trying to cut $5.5 million. I want you to take a look at this graphic on your screen. This meeting is by all means the most important meeting. It will be on February 21st at 630. That will be the meeting where the school board will vote to make those cuts and it depends on the school board as to what options they will choose. They have a lot of information on their website. We put that link on our story on KSHB.com. Reporting in Kansas City, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.